I got a ton of hate in my last video. People were saying I'm not a real developer, but here's exactly why I don't care and why they're missing the exact point. I'm graduating this year in computer science and I've been building since freshman year. I wasn't raised a childhood prodigy in coding where I have some massive knowledge since nine years old. You know, I've built websites, I've built apps, I've built agentic systems and flows, and I have a generalized knowledge of most languages with Rust to C++ to HTML and using platforms like Docker, Postman, React, but when I started this startup, I made the conscious decision to use AI because it accelerate my ability to debug code 10 times faster than I would be from manually writing it. Backend is not my strength, so I decided instead of wasting days debugging backend code, which is not my strength, I'd rather move 10 times faster and get a product actually out to people. I'm not in the game of perfecting every single syntax. I'm in the game of building products as fast as possible from conception to physical reality. And if you're coding in 2025 without AI, you're already behind. It is the future. Look, if your use case is climbing the corporate ladder, then go deep on pure skill. But in startup land, speed is everything. That means that ideation to physical product matters. How fast you can get it into the real world matters. I don't have days to spend on time that is time I could be selling the product, developing more features, and also pushing and getting it out to my audience. AI makes me 10 times faster while I'm still learning along the way, it's teaching me while I go with it. It's not cheating, it's leverage. And you either sit in two buckets, you either feel like you're cheating when you're using AI because you're not really coding, but at the same time, you're also sitting there and you're like, wow, this is moving 10 times faster with me. I used to be in this first bucket for a really long time. I used to feel really guilty about using AI to code and it made me feel irrelevant because I didn't feel like I was learning. I didn't feel like I was moving as fast as I possibly could. I didn't feel like I was sitting there through the struggle of when I didn't have a semicolon in my code. But what I can say is that, frankly, I had to sacrifice my ego and understand that, hey, I'm actually building a company and that what matters is getting to the conception of the product. What matters is the people that I'm serving in order to do this. And I have to get over myself of feeling bad that I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this exactly the way that's standard and the way that I taught. It had, I had to evolve my philosophy. And what I found is once I've evolved my philosophy from I'm not sitting there and coding every single word and, and coding every single syntax to, listen, I'm gonna let AI take care of the, the wording, the syntax behind all of this. And I'm gonna focus on the core, what does this look like? How can I serve my audience? The why behind the product and use that. And where my coding knowledge actually does come into place is debugging that because AI is not perfect and it's not always gonna build the right code. And so combining these two into this one area of, you know what, I don't need to code every single thing out. I can build the base of understanding what my code looks like and let AI build it to build a core product that is better and at the end of the day teaches you along the way. So yeah, I am a vibe coder. And while devs argue about frameworks, I'm building multi-million dollar companies. Hate it or love it, you're going to have the pool of people who build multi-million dollar products with AI. You're also going to have the pool of people who build multi-million dollar products without AI. It's just a matter of what type of product are you building? What type of development do you actually need in order to achieve the end goal? And how fast are you willing to get there? I truly do believe that AI is the greatest tool of our generation. It's just a matter of how are you willing to use it and integrate it into your own life. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Every single word and comment that you send means the world to me. And I appreciate it. If you have any questions or disagreements with vibe coding versus actual development, I'd love to hear it. Like, subscribe, and most of all, I hope you have a productive day. Peace and love.